Hey y'all, we're Sammy and Tommy and we've been having some amazing adventures here in Laos. We have seen some beautiful waterfalls in Luang Prabang, ate some interesting and unique food. The grasshoppers are a nice little crunch though. <laughs> and completed an epic sunrise hike in Nang Kya. This is unbelievable. We then made our way to Muang Noi on the Nam U River with a local who showed us his village where we played with some adorable kiddos. God, so strong. Wow. wow. We spent our last day around Muang Noi hiking to nearby villages and exploring caves. Good morning, you guys. Today we're heading to a couple of villages and a couple of caves. It's early still, so I'm gonna get a little quiet. Here, this map will show up perfectly what we're doing. We're starting here in Mung Noi, then hiking up to Thong Kong Cave, then up to this village, and then back down to the village of Bana. So that was pretty cool. We got to see the monks doing their alms this morning. They carry around their big pots and get food for the rest of their day. It's pretty cool they don't have to buy food for themselves and the local community supports them that way. I found a restaurant that's open this early and we ordered four cafe lattes. Thank you very much. And two fresh homemade baguettes. <laughs> So crunchy and crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. The perfect baguette. We just started our walk to the next village that we're going to. And we're walking past everybody's houses and they all have their own little garden. And we just passed this lettuce that looks so fresh and crunchy and so like bright green. Oh, that lettuce looks amazing. It does look really Doesn't good. Doesn't this look so crunchy? Yeah. Mm. Passing up some very pretty, I guess, Southeast Asian poinsettias, because these are not like the poinsettias that we had in the United States, but they're very pretty. And the leaves are exactly the same, so I'm thinking they have to be poinsettias. So our first stop today is Tham Kham Cave, and we just arrived. Very informative sign, 15 minutes into the cave, and not very dark. All the information that you need to know. Wow, oh, I want to get Tommy up there. Hello! 
You get to walk into the cave. Looks like there might be some water inside. Gnarly. So that's the stream we talked about. We're in the middle earth. Not very dark, but a little bit dark. It ends here, guys. Okay. Not sure for you can me. go down that way? Not for me. No, you can't. It's this it was 15 meters. <laughs> Sure oh, that? how about you went down? That's what I'm saying. Sammy's not going to look too hard. She doesn't want to go inside stuff like this. Watch your head, dude. I'm not going down there. Okay, please don't slip. I think it keeps going. Uh, Tommy, 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 please. Is it the band? <laughs> Gosh. Stairwell. Is there? Yeah. Okay. We keep going? I'm waiting out here. I don't like caves. Slipping. Help, grab me. Really? <laughs> no. God, I'm like, I can't help you. <laughs> if you were falling, I would be no help to you. They went to go explore the cave. I decided to wait at the entrance because dark caves. Claustrophobic. Bats. Slippery, no light. I'll wait at the entrance. What's that? The temperature is such a difference back here. Look, look at the ceiling, Jeff. See the sparkles? Oh, yeah. yeah. The ceiling's a little low. Oh, Oop, I stepped in something. Ooh, sticky. Oh, it's all dripping. It's, true. it's too human even for the bugs. Wow, that was so cool. It goes back quite a ways actually. I'm not sure if we're supposed to go back that far. But it was so hot and humid, the camera lens kept fogging up. Sammy? It was seriously like 40 degrees hotter back there. Yeah, so hot. Real quick, I want to say a big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and continuing to support our channel. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes where millions of people come to further their skills in photography, filmmaking, design, and so much more. I have really been interested in learning about editing basics, so I am currently watching Ali Abdul's course on video editing with Final Cut. Hey everyone, my name is Ali. I'm a doctor working in Cambridge and on the side, I make YouTube videos about medicine, tech, and productivity. This is the class that I wish I would have had when starting out and that would have really speeded up the process of learning how to edit. So if you enroll in the class, I'll be taking you through my three part workflow in Final Cut. I think this course is a really great place to start if you're just learning to edit like me. The class provides you with free footage that you can download, drag into your timeline, follow along with the course and start learning to edit today. Don't worry if editing isn't your thing, Skillshare has thousands of classes that that will meet your needs and interests. I love that Skillshare is ad-free so that you can stay in the zone while you are exploring new skills. Right now, Skillshare is offering the first 1,000 of you guys who click the link in the description box below or use our code Sammy and Tommy, a one month free trial so that you can start exploring your creativity today. Now let's get back to the video. All right, that was really cool. First cave checked. 
Oh, and you walk out from the very back, it just cools down so quickly, it felt so good. All right, on to the next village. All of the wild marigolds. Yep, coming at you. This road is so cool. So on one side they have the limestone cliffs with a bunch of cave you can go and explore. Ducky! There she is. Cave in the side of a cliff. On the other side, there's a river running through this farming area and these rice fields. And it's so jungle esque. It's absolutely beautiful. Plus, all the flowers, the cool vines and trees. So unique. Jackie found a tree with humongous leaves. Banana trees. Oh, Getting close to our first village, Hoi Sun. It's so cool on the walk. You can see these limestone cliffs right behind me here. Definitely reminds me of like Avatar. I'm just waiting for a dinosaur to come down. <laughs> Scoop us up. Look cool, mommy. I can Yeah, we're walking down a path we hope is the way to the Hoi Sen village. And we have a herd of cattle in the path. Yeah, I'm not walking through that. Danger zone. Don't charge you. Watch out for the bulls. <laughs> I'd be slowing down if you did. <laughs> Is this the way? Hello. We come in peace. <laughs> we come in peace. We come in peace. Can I go? Hello. Can I go this way? I don't know what to do with a herd of cattle. Please don't hit me with those horns. Jackie, turn around. Look at they're going at it. Oh, wow. God, that is so funny. Are they showing off for us? Hello. Are they lost? I got the, I got the hint. <laughs> well, that was a very warm welcome to the village. Instead of uh, guard dogs, they have guard cows. And a lot of them. We got her. What are you doing back there? Gross. What do you think that is, Mom? A million need. A million need. <laughs> Alright, all these wusses are giving up on the hike. We couldn't find the village. We only found the huge herd of cows. But it's so beautiful.
Well, the mist has cleared up, so you get the layers more. That is so gorgeous. We're on the way to Banna Village. So I think we're on the outskirts of the Bana village. There are so many cows around here. Little baby one. Let's go check him out. Little guy. So I know it's not the season for rice fields, but I can't imagine coming here right after rainy season before they harvest. I'm coming back. I was very excited to come to Laos, but it's exceeding my expectations. People are so friendly. Such an amazing spot. Wish we had more time, but I'm coming back. Thanks to all the people though, they're so welcoming, so refreshing when you get into a whole new culture and the people are just so nice. <laughs> I think we finally made it to the village of Banan. Perfect timing. I hope they have some food because I'm hungry. All right, we made it to Banan. Cheers. Banana. Thank you. Thank you. It's a little late for breakfast, Sammy. Fruit salad, yummy. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Cup the uh, fried rice, banana pancake, some weird noodle dish, maybe <laughs> mistake, fruit plate, and papaya salad. Making the baskets. See the basket hanging? Oh, really? I don't know. Oh. Yeah, really? nice. Look at those ducks.
washing clothes there. left the village and we ran into a couple people who just did the walk back and they said to watch out for snakes on the way back because they saw three of them on the way and the last time we ran into one just yesterday our guide was very careful that stay back stay away so I think they're pretty poisonous out of the village now walking back to Muang Nui such a great day scenery around here is so beautiful I love it so much the guys are behind me I don't know what happened to them too slow I had to leave them behind here comes the guys look at this tree up here guys oh, this is cool just showered up after that sweaty walk to those villages and that cool cave. Now we're about to go get a drink, enjoy the sunset, and that's how we'll end the night. It's gonna be a relaxing evening. We have a long travel day back tomorrow, all the way to Luang Prabang. Then we're flying out the next morning. We came back for happy hour. Happy hour? <laughs> How now, brown cow? We came back for happy hour here at the Riverside Restaurant. The views are spectacular, and just to end our day and enjoy the sunset. And the drinks are two for one. So we're gonna get a couple of pina coladas and whatever in, they want. In the day, I love the cocktail menu though. It's old school, all handwritten. Cheers. 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 Oh, it is. What's your I don't want to say it's oh. true. Oh, yeah, that's good too. All right, after a few drinks, we are hungry, so we're going to go to our favorite restaurant here in town. So, this is our favorite restaurant here called Veranda's. Oh my gosh, that rice looks so good. What'd you get? We got vegetable soup and steamed rice, and this steamed rice looks so fresh. Like they just cooked it, and we also got pad thai with like the most peanuts on it. It looks so good. And of course, we had a starter of fried spring rolls, which we love. Good night, y'all. Good, good night. night. Crazy. And that is a good day.